Hey guys, welcome to another Cook With Me video. Today we are going to be making buffalo cauliflower wraps. These are so good and I can't wait for you guys to try them. So first of all, you are going to take a head of cauliflower and I'm only going to use half for this recipe, um, but you can go ahead and use the whole entire thing if you're planning on feeding a lot of people. Half gave me about four to five wraps, so if you wanna make more than that, then make the whole thing. So next, what you wanna do is just chop it up into little bite-sized pieces. You're going to need all-purpose flour, breadcrumbs, I prefer panko breadcrumbs, and then I use 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's, of course, um, as well as some pink Himalayan sea salt, and you mix that up all together, and that's going to be your breading for the cauliflower. So I just use water to dip the cauliflower in to then put it into the breading and bread it that way. It's super easy and it works. So you just wanna repeat these steps until all of your cauliflower is breaded. And I'm sure most of you guys already know this, but use one hand to dip it into the liquid, which in this case is the water, and then use your other hand to dip it into the breading to make the whole process easier and just overall less messy. So once that's done, you just want to transfer over your breaded cauliflower to an oven safe dish and you want to put that in a 425 degree preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. So whenever you see that it's reached a golden brown color and it's nice and crispy, that's how you know it's ready. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make a buffalo sauce here at home from scratch. If you don't have one, it's really easy to make. You just need butter and your favorite hot sauce, and that is it. Then you have a buffalo sauce. Of course, you can add any other dry seasonings you'd like in there, but I just made mine super simple with these two ingredients, and you know, it turned out great. It gave me exactly what I was looking for. And you can actually make any sauce, whichever flavor profile you're going for. So if you want barbecue sauce or if you want like an, a sweet Asian glaze, you can replace it with any of those. So feel free to make it your own. I used about a half cup of butter and a quarter cup of hot sauce here. So once you take the cauliflower out of the oven, you just want to combine the sauce together with it give it a good mix make sure all of the cauliflower pieces are covered in the sauce and then you are ready to assemble your wrap
I'm just using a flour tortilla. You can feel free to use any tortilla you like and place the buffalo cauliflower bites into the tortilla and then put some chopped romaine lettuce with uh, whichever vegetables you would like. Here I was just using some peppers, chopped peppers, and that's it. I kept it super simple with the veggies and then I do go in with this follow your heart vegan ranch sauce. I'm showing you guys the ingredients there. Yeah, it's a nice vegan alternative uh, ranch sauce. I don't use too much of it, but I think it does complement the buffalo sauce flavor well in this dish. Well, that's it. Once you've done that and you've assembled all of your wraps, you're all done and you are ready to enjoy this. Let me know if you guys gave it a try, how you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time. Enjoy!